now I'm sure you know what to do if you absolutely need to drive in these icy conditions. But what about getting your vehicle ready before the ice ever hits? Well, LAX 18's Evelyn Schell shows us how to prep those windshields and doors to keep us going. There's no one easy way to get all the ice off of your windshield, but there are some things you can try at home to aid the process along. A lot of these things you actually have to try before the ice hits, but the good news is you probably already have most of the supplies at home. The first one I want to show you actually uses a potato. You can also use an onion, but we used a potato here. You're going to cut it in half, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to want to rub it on the windshield. So how this works is that there's actually sugars in the potato, and those mm -hmm. molecules create a barrier on your windshield, and that barrier is supposed to prevent ice from forming. Let me show you another thing you can try. I made this solution earlier. It's one part water to three parts white vinegar. So what you're going to do is before the ice hits, you're going to spray this on your windshield and then right away you're going to want to wipe it off. So this works similarly to the potato in that it creates a barrier which can prevent ice from forming. A word of caution with this, however, you're going to want to wipe it off right away. It shouldn't do any damage to your windshield, but we do know that vinegar can corrode car paint and so you're going to want to make sure to wipe it off so it doesn't do any long term damage. And then in order to prevent your door from sticking shut ice from getting all on here, we made another mixture and this is three parts olive oil and one part water. And so what you can do, it works kind of like WD-40. You spritz this on your door handle and that should give it some lubrication and prevent it from sticking when the ice comes. If all else fails, you can buy some windshield de-icer from the store. I've been told that this stuff works great and you can actually put this on your windshield after a layer of ice forms. And finally, uh, if all else fails, one thing you do not want to do is pour hot water on your windshield because that can cause your windshield to actually crack and then you'll be dealing with a whole other issue. In Lexington, I'm Evelyn Schultz, LEX 18 News.